Hey, it's Mike Today. We're back again in Wyckoff in a backyard where we did a major renovation. And the first thing we're going to go over today is a plant material. The client just put an addition on their home and wanted to screen the property from the neighbors and the surrounding area while getting privacy, but also having interest with different flowers, plant material, and things on the property. Here on the corner, we have a Japanese stewardia, small flowering tree that was transplanted, it was in a shadier area. Now it's in the full sun. We'll let that fill in over time and prune it to really make it take off and bloom. This is an amazing tree for the summertime. It blooms in June into July. Underneath, we have some boxwood as a structure behind there, layered in with some variegated hostas, some hookah coral bells. We have some perennial geraniums, cat mint, which is a perennial, gets blue flowers throughout the whole season, layered in with some drift roses in white. We have some wajilia, and then a fern spray, hinoki cypress. Throughout, you'll see shot rock boulders that are in the garden. This is to hold back some soil, give some texture, but also help us get up to the main area, which is the new terrace and patio area. The client requested instead of putting in stairs to get from the terrace down to the back lawn, that we put in a lawn ramp. With this lawn ramp, their kids and friends can run down to the swing set and to the backyard to play, and there's no steps for anybody to trip on for safety reasons. The plant material in here are layered in with different textures, colors, and variation. We have a massing of glow blue spruce to give a nice blue to tie in with the patio. Behind it, we have a group of hydrangeas that will get to be about four or five feet tall to give some height with the beautiful white flowers. And then layered in with a bunch of perennials, a spirea, and in the foreground you see Cryptomeria japonica is an evergreen tree for screening. In this corner, we have a grouping of Nellie Stevens holly broken up in the middle by a tree called a Franklinia. This tree is very interesting, hard to find. It gets a huge white flower in August into September. Underneath the layering, we have blue hydrangeas getting ready to bloom in the next two or three weeks by layers of perennials throughout. And on the end, you will see a blood good red maple to give some character and some interest. This tree was also chosen for that spot because it's directly in the center of the new window in the main room looking out of the house. So it becomes a focal point inside and out. Walking up the lawn ramp to the terrace, this client wanted to use a natural stone with a lot of color. So we chose a blue stone with full range of color and we used a one foot border to tie it all in with the rest of the patio and the rear steps. And then also we built an outdoor kitchen and bar. I'm standing behind the bar. As you can see, we use a, a blue stone top. These come in rough cut slabs. We template and make them on site and then put it right onto the bar. To the left of it, we have a 36 inch built-in grill. This is recessed six inches lower and has a backsplash along the back to keep away the heat and also from people touching the grill while it's going on. This area was designed to have an area that we prep, we grill, and then you can serve and dine in one area and also have a large enough space to be able to talk and to congregate while you're outside entertaining and also hanging out with your friends and enjoying yourself. On the back here, instead of having a big just stone area, we decided to cut in some shelves for some storage. As you can see, we put some grill tools here and also some under counter storage so the space is used. Over here we have a trash chute that's built in and slides out. This way you can put your garbage in. And then throughout we have outdoor lights that are put underneath under counter throughout to light up the area at nighttime. The final piece to the full outdoor living package, 60 inch flat screen TV, wired up speakers on the house, also rock speakers throughout the yard. And this is all run through a system inside the house. This way the client was really important that they could watch sporting events while being outside and enjoying themselves with their family and not be stuck inside missing the game.